welcome back to my channel. I am Gigi Faison. If you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, then you already know that you are welcome, loved, and appreciated here. Today, you guys, I am participating in the Winter Coffee Bar Challenge that is being hosted by the amazing Kimberly Davis of Diva Designing on a Dime, and her beautiful co-host is Kenya of Kenya Decor Corner. And they have just asked that we style out our coffee bar station and create it with a winter theme or Christmas theme. Um, and this is something that they do annually. So I am super excited as to be able to participate. And I hope that you guys will enjoy what I have created for you. Now in my coffee bar, you're going to see some trucks running through. You're going to see some red and white. You're going to see some elves sitting on some shelves. You're going to see some things that you can use to spice up your coffee. So I hope you will enjoy it. In my description box below, you will find the link to Miss Kimberly's channel as well as the playlist link. Also the link to Kenya's channel as well. Now that playlist link, you will get a list of all of the other creators that will be participating in this challenge. And our hope is to give you all ideas as how you too can create a coffee station or a coffee bar using different methods and techniques, different little additives and things like that. So you guys, I hope you'll enjoy it. If you do and you're new here and you want to become a part of my family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell twice. Therefore, you will be notified each and every time that there is an upload made here. Now, when you get to the other channels, all I ask you to do is do the very same thing. Show some love, let's spread some love during these holiday seasons. So you guys, I'm going to get out of your way so you can enjoy my coffee station. Let's have some coffee and let's have some fun. Be blessed, you guys. Thank you. Okay, you guys, as you see here, I've got everything laid out. Um, these are the items that I will be using or not using. Just haven't decided yet, but I've just got everything just kind of laid out so I can figure my way as to how I want to sell out this bar station or this coffee bar station. So. Okay, you guys, this is the reveal. up with to create my winter coffee bar station and as you can see my sign here in the back that says may your coffee be strong and your Mondays be short sorry I've got the trees there hiding it out but um, that's what I came up with and I picked that sign up from Hobby Lobby it was on the in the clearance section and I think it was like four dollars and some change don't remember exactly what but also across the top here I've got a few of those beautiful acorns that I've gotten from Hobby Lobby as well and then over on the side here we have a few ornaments just to give that more festive feel here at this station also I've added some tea in case someone may want some tea. Now this tea was a find at the health food store and this is the holiday spice blend. Very, very good. I love it. It is delicious. It has the, um, you can see the black tea leaves, but it is delicious. I usually um, add honey to my tea, uh, no sugar just the honey and then on this side this one is my favorite it is the caramel apple also from the health food store and you see my little tea light um, little houses there or also the find from Hobby Lobby 
and we're gonna come on down here and let me share with you see my roller skate in the back you can barely see it but yes I want it to glam it out just a bit but I thought that um, you know I have grand boys so they may not appreciate me glamming out the roller blade or the, uh, yeah, the roller blade in the back there I wanted to get two of them and I went back to get another one and they had no more so if you see something you like it's always best to get it when you see it the first time even if you don't need it you can take it back but look at the F sitting here looks almost like hmm watching out for something not quite sure but can you guys see the little theme I have going on here the red and white the peppermint Deli. This is my favorite this time of the year is the peppermint bark. Also, I have on my bar here those um, spoons with the um, honey to flavor your tea or your coffee or your whatever you just hot cocoa, whatever you choose to use it in. I like those. Also, I like my syrup for my coffee. Have my this one is my pumpkin spice or pumpkin caramel I'm sorry and this one is my mocha and it says zero calories so um, and then this is the Irish cream have my little to-go cups here very festive and ready to go we also have some peppermint cocoa here we have our cacao bliss here, and I think that's how you say it. Also, we have some um, sugar, um, cinnamon sugar, that's what that is mixed. Also, I like to have that in my coffee as well. And then we have a little mixer here if you want to give it a stir and see if you can um, make it festive. Also, I have some muffins, blueberry muffins, ready to go. And here we have the pecan caramel biscotti in the back here. Delicious with a cup of coffee, let me tell you. And then my hot cocoa with the cocoa mix flavors. We have the peppermint and the Irish cream here. There's a raspberry flavor as well. Oh yeah. Raspberry. Good additives to your cocoa. So I'll try to have a variety of what one may want to add to their coffee. Also we have some cider spices. Now you can add this either with your wine or with your apple cider. Also, we have some cinnamon sticks. And I decorated this little jar out with some of those little cliques from the, I think it was the Dollar Tree. But they are just the cutest little things I thought I would add to that. I have my cinnamon sticks in there. So, whichever way you want to have your coffee, whether it's with the cinnamon sticks, cinnamon sugar, um, an extra additive of the cacao. Uh, I, I, I think that's how you say it. I'm not for certain, but it is an additive that is a health benefit. Um, and it's almost like cocoa. You can drink it. It has a little turmeric mixed in with it. It's kind of expensive. I think the bag itself is like... Uh, I ordered it from Amazon and I think it was like $60, but the health benefits, um, if you suffer from joint uh, problems, arthritis, or anything of that nature, it has helped me in my quest of pain. But yeah, I like to add a little bit of that into um, my coffee or my tea. And then here is the grandmaster of the show. is generally hanging out 
This is my favorite coffee of choice. I have some napkins here on the little red trucks. And this little glass tree, I've had it for probably 30 years. Just added a light to it just to just want to be a little more festive over here. Man, I want to paint those trucks white. I want to paint them. I want to glam them out. But my grandsons, I know they're going to like them just the way they are. I thought I had a little light inside both of them, but it looks like the light in this one, oh, there it goes. Yeah, I have a little light on the inside of them. And I added the light into it just to make it festive. And this tree is carrying the candle as well as a tree, but I think you could probably sit a cup back here if you wanted to use it. Tree, and then the other one I have with the lighted tree and the napkins. And then you see my little square cups in the back here. These were a find from Target a few years back. Aren't they the cutest little decorative pieces here? Alright you guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment in the comment section, and if you're new to my channel and you would like to become a part of my family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell twice so you'll be notified each and every time there is an upload here. And again, a special thanks to Miss Kimberly of Viva Designing on a Dime and her co-host, Miss Kenya of Kenya's Decor Corner. I will leave their information in my description box below. Please go over and show them lots of love. And also check out the playlist link of all of the other creators that will be sharing how you too can create your coffee, winter coffee bar station, just by being adding a little few festive items. And the only things that I really purchase for this um, was actually my treats. Everything else I, I had already, um, except for the trucks. I purchased those a, a week or so back from Hobby Lobby. It may have been two weeks ago. They had it at 80% off. So the trucks but, um, and the rollerblade, I picked that up from the Dollar Tree or the Dollar General. Okay, you guys, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for checking in. Be blessed. Stay safe. Continue to watch. Be watchful of yourself as well as your fellow neighbor. Let us all continue to sanitize. Let us not forget we are still in the midst of this pandemic and people are still getting sick. And let us continue to pray one for another. You guys, hold on for bonus clip. Hold on, don't go anywhere. Stay right there. You guys, now listen, I am that coffee girl. Yes, I am that coffee girl. So I always have to have a backup because it happened to me once. My coffee pot messed up. Well, my, and I didn't have a backup plan. And it was at a point that we couldn't get out. So I have a backup plan. If my bread goes out, 
I have my percolator. And if my percolator goes out, I have my French press. So, I will be ready. All right, you guys, that's it. I thought you'd enjoy that. Coffee girl needs her coffee. Be blessed, you guys. Thank you.